Today we're going to show you how to change the evaporator fan motor on your refrigerator and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. And because we will be working near some electrical circuits, the first thing we'll need to do is disconnect the power to the refrigerator. So pull it forward far enough to remove the plug. And we're going to open the freezer door and remove all the items in the freezer, including on the bottom shelf. And then we'll remove the center shelf. To do that, we'll just lift up on it, slide it to either left or right until it's fully inserted into that side. And you'll be able to tilt it up and remove it. Now next we'll remove the floor of the freezer and there's two quarter inch hex head screws, one on either side towards the front. Just remove those. We'll set that aside. Now next we'll remove two screws on either side of the air inlet duct at the back. And if you have an ice maker on your model, you will need to remove it as well. And remember to turn the water supply off. Now with the screws removed, you should be able to pull that evaporator cover forward and tilt it up at the same time to pull the air grill out of the opening in the freezer floor. Remove the ground wire and harness to the ice maker. And then you can take that evaporator cover completely out and set it aside. You'll now have access to the evaporator fan motor. Now our next step will be to disconnect the wire harness to the heater. Just lift that locking tab on the connector and separate it. Next we'll remove the main wire harness connection at the back wall. We'll just depress the little locking tab on the bottom. And then pull the connector away. Then we're going to take that large black wire that goes to the heater and just unravel that through the channel across the top of that motor mount. See if that is out of the way. And then we can remove four screws that hold that bracket to the rear wall. And then carefully lift the motor bracket assembly away from the rear wall. You can now disconnect two wires going to the motor. And if they're on there really tight, you can use needle nose pliers to remove them. And we'll also remove the ground wire from the mounting bracket. Next, we'll remove the two quarter inch hex head screws that secure that motor bracket. And then lift the motor and the metal bracket away from the housing. We'll remove the two rubber bushings for the end of that metal bracket. and then we can discard the old motor. We'll take the new motor assembly and we'll install the evaporator fan blade on the shaft first. So we'll just fully insert it onto that shaft. Make sure that it bottoms out. Then we'll install the rubber bushings on the end of the motor bracket. And we can position the motor on that assembly. Make sure that the plastic protrusions fit into those 
little rubber bushings. Reinstall the two large washered screws and tighten those securely. And reconnect the wires. Make sure all of those wire connections are nice and snug and secure. And we can rotate that assembly up into position and install the four mounting screws. And tighten all four of those screws. We can next roll that heater wire up into the proper position through that channel across the top. Reconnect the main wire harness. Make sure the locking tab engages. Reconnect the small harness to the heater. Make sure there's no interference with the evaporator fan blade and the housing. And then we can put the evaporator cover back on. Remember to Reconnect the ground wire to the tab at the ice maker fill inlet. Then position the air outlet duct into the freezer floor. Install the two retaining screws. Reinstall the freezer floor, making sure that that cutout fits underneath these two little tabs on that air duct. Secure it with the two screws on either side. We can then replace the shelf. Fit it into the top of those holes on the side, lower it down into position, and then drop it down to the bottom of those slotted openings. We're now ready to reload the freezer and reconnect the power and our repair is complete.